We welcome you to uh, a small service at Bethlehem Baptist Church this Tuesday afternoon, and we'll call it our time of fellowship and our time of prayer together. My family's here with me, so at this time they're coming. Bless your heart in song, please. scene that we've had tonight. A special thanks to my daughter and to all of my grandchildren that were here uh, singing. It blesses my heart and blesses my life when our family participates using their talents for the glory of God. 
I want to say a special thanks to all the people of Bethlehem Church that are working and laboring in this time of test. I praise God for you, and I thank you for using your talent for the honor and glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This will be our Wednesday night prayer service, and we always have a time of prayer request and for people to give a word of testimony. Two prayer requests that I know today, Floyd Gardner, by his uh, witness of his faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, went to heaven today. And I would request that you pray for his family uh, in this time of him going to heaven. Also, uh, J.D. Martin is in the Sweetwater Hospital. He's hoping that he can maybe get out in a day or two. But he desires a great interest uh, in your prayers. For the uh, senior citizens of uh, our church, uh, many of them have been homebound now for several days. I would encourage you to maybe give them a call or do something very special to help them in this time of test. One of the reasons that I wanted the song sung, God Will Make a Way, I know that in this time, many people are struggling. They're having very difficult times. And again, we of Bethlehem Baptist Church are praying for our membership and we're praying for all people, saved and unsaved people. So I just want to give you a kind of a paraphrase of the children of Israel when they were in Egypt's bondage for over 400 years, working as slaves for the Pharaoh. They called out to God. They was tired of sin. They was tired of being a slave to the Pharaohs. And they cried out to God, and God made a way for them. He spoke to a man by the name of Moses and gave him a message to take to the Pharaoh and let him know that he needs to let God's people go. God will always make a way in every situation, no matter how difficult government or other people might say it is our god is sovereign and our god always makes a way for his people whether it's according to our thinking or not it's always according to his will so moses went down and led the children of israel out of pharaoh's bondage the only way that they could have deliverance was through the blood of a sacrificed lamb, with the typology being the blood that was shed on Calvary by the Lamb of God is the only way that you and I can have deliverance from the bondage of sin and slavery. God still makes a way for his people. They got out of the bondage. They started their journey to the promised land, a land that flows with milk and honey. But the Bible says that God had to prove his people. So here they are on their journey, Moses leading them, the fire by night, the cloud by day, and here they walk straight in to a dead end street, the Red Sea. A mountain to their left, a mountain to the right, a body of water in front of them. And the Pharaoh now pursuing them because he's had a change of mind. He wants the children of Israel back as his slaves. So it looked like it was an impossibility what will they do now? God will make a way. So God opened the Red Sea with an east wind and let them walk across on dry ground. Thank God. God always makes a way. Even in this time in our country, this time of this virus that has taken many lives, that some are saying we're gaining ground and some are saying we're not. Anyway, it has not changed the purpose and the will of God. 
So I'd like for us to have a word of prayer together. A prayer that I pray will encourage you and bless you and help you. And keep your eyes focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is the author and he is the finisher of our faith. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We celebrate in your love and in your grace. We thank you for this day, Lord, truly. Even in the test time, you have opened the windows of heaven and you've blessed us. Thank you for the good food we've had to eat today. Thank you for the clothing on our bodies. Thank you for the blessings, God, that's beyond our understanding and beyond our vocabulary of words. So, Lord, we bow our unworthy heads to thank you for who you are and thank you for saving us and thank you, Lord, for calling us to preach. Thank you, Lord, for Bethlehem Baptist Church and all of our churches. I pray God speed upon them in this time of testing. And I pray, Father, through your will and through your understanding, that we'll just be like the gold that's put in the fire, that through the fire there'll be purification. The dross can come to the top, and we can take the ladle and skim the dross, the sin, out of our hearts and out of our lives and be purified as the gold is purified in the fire. For we as your children, in Christ's name we pray, amen.